Here is an update from the National Weather Service on La Crosse concerning the severe weather threats for later in the day on Friday, July 19th. The threats include, of course, the recent heavy rain that we had the last couple of days and ongoing flooding with the potential for more, the excessive heat spell that we're under at least for one more day, and the threat of other severe storms that could pose a threat for damaging wind and tornadoes as we go later today into tonight. Bottom line for us, the messaging we would like to pass along is to remain weather aware uh, tonight especially. When we look at rainfall totals that we saw just overnight in the last 24 hours, we had some four to as much as six inch totals from parts of southeast Minnesota into western Wisconsin. And uh, highest totals, again, on either northwest of La Crosse or southeast. And that has had an impact on rivers, especially along the Kickapoo Rivers in southwest Wisconsin, where some locations, including the Ontario and Lafarge areas, are approaching major flooding levels, with other rises along the Whitewater River in southeast Minnesota and parts of the La Crosse River in western Wisconsin. Here's a look at the Kickapoo River in southwest Wisconsin at Ontario, showing the quick rise overnight from rain and the forecast for it to peak here early today and then begin to fall. The excessive rainfall outlook for later today into tonight continues right across our region. So certainly as thunderstorms move through the region overnight, we'll have to keep close tabs on where they track and where they redevelop. In between these storm and excessive uh, rainfall threat includes our continued excessive heat spell, which includes an excessive heat warning for much of our region, most of western and southern Wisconsin, and uh, all of Iowa, including parts of southern Minnesota. So in addition to the storms, if you have outdoor plans, especially anything that involves physical activity, be very careful today into tonight and be careful to, to uh, check on elderly or those family members you know of that live alone. Finishing with talking about the other severe weather risks today, the Storm Prediction Center does have a moderate risk of severe weather along and north of Interstate 94. And this is a level four out of five in the different outlook risk levels. You can see how the risk level is very minimal across parts of central and northeast Iowa, but will increase as you move closer to Interstate 90 and certainly higher along and north of Interstate 94. In fact, the probabilities of tornadoes today are relatively high from parts of central Minnesota into northwest Wisconsin. So again, the higher tornado risks along and north of Interstate 94. Damaging wind threat is a potential hazard all the way, again, across this corridor, whereas most of the large hail threat will more likely be in parts of central Minnesota where storms initially form before switching over to a more of a wind threat. Kind of in summary, again, we do have a risk of tornadoes, especially in parts of north-central Wisconsin later today into tonight. And with that, a damaging wind threat. Again, heavy rain could fall in any of these areas. And as storms are in their decaying stage later tonight, could, uh, again, repeat over parts of areas that received heavy rain last night. So something we'll have to watch very closely. We'd urge you to keep update on our weather threats today by using our web page or our social media outlets, weather.gov slash lacrosse. Our final messaging includes the impacts that are expected, rising rivers, and potential for renewed flash flooding tonight. With the storms, damaging wind threats that could knock down trees, barns. This could be especially dangerous if you have camping plans. Of course, damage from tornadoes, especially if any stronger tornadoes do form, which could be long-lived at times. Heat-related illnesses, again, for those outdoors and with a physical activities plan. So be alert for rising waters, damaged roads. Uh, do not drive around closed road signs or barricades. Keep an eye on forecast updates and the radar as we move through the day. And have action plans in case severe weather does threaten your community.